Europe has had a record 600,000 asylum applications so far this year, according to the Migration Policy Centre. But that figure is expected to reach a million by the end of 2015. Germany has been the most welcoming European Union country for refugees. It's received the highest number of new asylum applications, with almost 222,000 by the end of August. It says it will accept an estimated 800,000 refugees this year. More than 96,000 migrants had applied for asylum in Hungary by the end of July after making the journey by foot through Greece and into the Western Balkans. Sweden normally accepts the most refugees per capita in the European Union, but so far this year it's received nearly 45,000 applica applications. Italy is the main destination for refugees arriving from Libya. The number of asylum applications there has reached 30,000. French President Francois Hollande says France is ready to take in more refugees. It has already accepted nearly 30,000 people. The UK says it will raise the number of asylum seekers it accepts to 20,000. So far, it has accepted nearly three quarters of that. Well, Deirdre Dabuka is the Director of Advocacy for the humanitarian NGO World Vision and she joins me from Brussels. Welcome to the programme. There are lots of numbers and figures uh, that we've been reading out there, but there are real faces and stories behind all of those applications. How would you characterise the way these migrants, these refugees are being treated when they reach the border and hope to cross the border? Well, I think that's a very good question because several weeks ago we were overwhelmed by a sudden increase in the number of refugees that were arriving at Europe's shores. And now what we have seen is the passage of many of those refugees into Europe and others remaining on, if you like, Europe's doorstep. So we have very large numbers of refugees, many of whom have not been processed, many of whom are in very, very difficult circumstances without even acceptable level of shelter, food, water and sanitation, and certainly as far as World Vision is concerned, we are very interested in the welfare of children. No education, no access to health services for children. So really a very unfortunate situation indeed. And we are very concerned about the oncoming winter. The weather is likely to plunge. The temperatures, judging from previous winters, are likely to be very cold. And we are concerned about many of these refugees who will have to endure those very bitter conditions um, without the kind of supports and access to services that we believe they should have. How can we improve that situation? You talked about winter being on the doorstep. I mean, the reality is when temperatures plummet and if you're very young or very old, you don't have uh, the, the, the strength to carry on, you will die and we will have thousands of bodies rather than thousands of people. That's true, and what we're seeing happening in some member states is that the governments of those member states are very quickly developing action plans. So looking really at the kind of resources and supports that they have that they can make available to uh, refugees. And I think this is what is needed, but we need definitely a more coordinated European-wide approach. We need to be sure that no matter what member state the refugees end up in, that they are at least guaranteed a certain basic level of shelter, access to food, water, uh, sanitation, and also, as we say, a focus on children and certainly on the protection of children, many of whom are traveling unaccompanied to Europe. And the risks of trafficking, of sexual exploitation and of children going missing are very, very high unless the social protection and child protection systems in each of the member states also uh, you know, engage with these children and make their services uh, available to them. So we really are calling for more concerted action on the part of each member state to put action plans in place to provide these kind of services, but also a more coordinated European response where there's more agreement between member states on the level of, uh, on the numbers of refugees that they're willing to accept and also the kinds of supports they're willing to provide in the short to medium term. Okay, Deirdre Dabuka in Brussels, thank you.